God, I love this state. Idaho is home to over 130 soakable hot springs. Starting tomorrow morning, we're gonna hit 10 of them. Uh, I'm up here in Salmon, Idaho today, and we're gonna start off here in Goldbug. Gonna hike up into Goldbug Camp tonight. It's gonna be an incredible day. We're gonna hit all the hot springs along the way, hopefully 10. That's the goal, 10 hot springs in a day. It's gonna be epic. I'd like to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that button, stay tuned. This summer we've got lots of videos coming out, lots of amazing places on the list. Don't want you to miss out. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm so excited for tomorrow, so let's get it. La, 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 la. So the goal tonight is to walk up in here a couple miles and set up camp. So hopefully with a little bit of luck, we can have a good morning soak, have the whole hot spring to ourselves. So hopefully we can get up here before it gets too much darker, cause it's about 30 minutes away from sunset. And that, folks, was Goldbug Hot Spring. First hot spring of the day. So this was supposed to be hot spring number two. I called it Beardsley. On the map I called it Beardsley, but it appears I got some bad intel because there is no hot spring here. Just a hillside. I mean, it's it's a pretty cool hillside, but no hot spring, so. Um, gonna have to find another one to make up for it. So Beardsley is a bust. Well, 
this one was supposed to be uh, Sullivan Hot Springs. Um, looks like it's private. So, no trespassing. Don't want to be getting in any trouble over some hot springs. So, just striking out with these hot springs. That's strike number two. So, it looks like my hot spring map might have this one right. This one's supposed to be called Robinson Hot Spring. So we're gonna hike up here, see if there's some hot water around here. Hopefully we don't strike out again. So this looks like this is the Robinson Creek one, right there. And it looks like it's private property too. I don't think I'll be able to get to this one either. This is strike number three. Robinson Bar Ranch. Another private property, no trespassing. So this one here is called Sunbeam Hot Springs. Number three for the day. And it is hot, it is super hot. God, it about burnt my feet. And then you go to the river and the river's ice cold. Not even a pool to soak in. Um, usually the river's a lot lower and there's pools that you can soak in, so. But we did get our feet in some hot water. So that counts as a hot spring. Um, let's go find some more. So I just got word, uh, got a couple special guests gonna meet up with us. Got a few more hot springs to hit. And yeah, I can't wait for you guys to meet them. Yeah, this one's under about three feet of water. Kind of the story of the day. This is strike six. Cove Creek is a big negative. Just another flooded out hot spring. So I remember coming up here as a kid with my Aunt Vicky and my mom. And I remember um, pulling off the side of the road I was really young, okay? I'm walking up a hillside and there was two big porcelain bathtubs up on the hillside with uh, hot water running through them. Have not been back since. Um, so this is the second spot that I'm just randomly trying and uh, hiked way back in here can't seem to find it yet. We'll try a few more spots, okay? Nicole. We're at Pine Flats. Check out a hot spring down here. Yeah, it's somewhere down here, isn't it? I'm we'll gonna go for a little walk.
We are here in the Boise National Forest. Hi. Which one are we going to now? Bonneville Hot Springs. Boom. Bonneville Hot Springs. Still the... raining. <laughs> Still raining. Yeah. <laughs> the camp host told us that it's kind of like a volcano of water. It's got temperatures of 202 degrees. He said, don't touch the water. It will burn your skin. So naturally, we're going to touch the water. <laughs> Oh, babe. Isn't that oh. hot? Yeah. Yeah, that's... All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this epic weekend chasing hot springs. We had a goal of 10. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many we hit. We did hit quite a few of them. Um, so yeah, found a few new ones. Uh, Pine Flats and Bonneville was 
was so beautiful. Such a cool experience. Thank you guys once again for all your support. Uh, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below. And we'll catch you on the next video.